All right. Did you match on? That's oh. good. Oh, that's good. Maybe no, not. no. I actually had thought about changing. Yeah. Something good about creating videos is it gives an excuse to actually get changed. Yes, that's right. Instead of just wearing lounging clothes and pajamas. Put on some makeup. <laughs> hey, welcome back, guys. So Hello. we are. What are we now? We're like day. One hundred and five. Yeah. I think the last video was higher than that. Was it? We're in some sort of time vortex now, I think. We have to bring in our Star Trek um, friends to yes. explain it to us. So yeah. this gives us an excuse to try more foods. And this idea came from... You had the idea... Well, you gave me this popcorn for Christmas. We didn't think there was a much difference between popcorn brands, between... Um, what do you call it? Private brand labels? Generic. Or generic brand popcorn, which is kind of like... This stuff here, which is like, for us, it's like no name. So it's yeah. like store brand. Mm -hmm. But you gave me some fancy popcorn. And this one was from Amish country, Troyer purple popcorn. We thought it actually tasted different yes. than some of these other popcorns. So that's when we bought Orville again, because we hadn't been buying Orville in a really long time. And it's like, is there a difference? And we thought there was a difference. <laughs> we did. But now to definitively <laughs> prove to see if there is a difference, we're going to make a video about it. So what do we have? We've got, um, well, we have an extra little thing too. So we've got Orville Redenbacher. We've got, as we said, the no name or store brand or generic. And then we've got a gourmet uh, brand. And then um, we have Flavacol. We'll talk about this later, but this is okay. like the ultimate way of making popcorn okay. that's used in movie theaters. This is like a trade secret and friends of ours got us onto this. Yeah, we'll come back to that. that that's different. So you prepared all the popcorn. I did. And how I did a, this is a blind. I popped them all separately and I put names on the bottom of each of these um, bowls. All the bowls look exactly the same. I put the popcorn into the bowl that was supposed to go in and then we sort of turned them yep. all around. So we don't know which bowl is which or which popcorn is which. Right. They do look slightly different, so I have an idea, but that's okay. Yeah. This is not, again, like the water video, this is not scientific. <laughs> this is just to waste some time and to have some popcorn. <laughs> yeah one do you want to try first? This was kind of your idea, so yeah. what would you like to do? Well, this one is like, visually, it looks different. It's it's more whitish than the other ones. Do you want to try this one? Um, I should say too, what we did with the popcorn is we just put some butter on it and some salt. So these just have some butter and salt on them. And the way we prepared this was, we have a really easy way of preparing popcorn. So if you like uh, microwave popcorn, well, microwave popcorn got all kinds of chemicals and all that stuff that can give you apparently lung cancer if you breathe in too much of the stuff. I think if you eat, it's fine. Regardless, um, we have this silicone bowl that's really great for making popcorn and it's super easy. It's inexpensive. You can get it at Walmart, Amazon, and it just does such a great job. And you don't use any oil for cooking the popcorn. It's all what you add afterwards. So if you don't want anything on it, you don't have to any, eat anything on it. And exactly. you already started eating. I okay, did. I have to get Why in. Was my hand? I do like butter on my mm. popcorn and mm -hmm. salt. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. It's delicious. Yeah. I love it. Next. Paired the same way. It has butter and salt and we don't know what it is either. Does it look? It looks like a more traditional looking popcorn. It looks sort of yellowish. Yeah, it's more yellow corn, I guess. It looks fluffy though. <laughs> Very fluffy. Yeah. yeah. Good too. Yeah, I might just be hungry, but that's good. Mm. It's it's fluffy. It's got a nice little crunch to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Visually, these are white, but they're also smaller. They're not as fluffy as those, but they were both as tasty. Mm. I think the white's better. Yeah. Okay. We'll come back and we'll retaste them all after we have the third one then. This one looks the same as the second one. That feels lighter. Mm. That feels like a lighter sort of... That was fluffy, but this feels like it's fluffier. Is that... Okay. In Cantonese, there's a saying where <laughs> yeah. you say... Mm -hmm. It's sung fa, and it means it's light and like breaks apart. Mm. Like like it's, it would be how you would describe like a croissant. Very light, decadent, fluffy. So there's a specific word, but it, it's very distinct in what it means in, in Cantonese. Is it considered something positive or just a way of describing things? Oh no, it's very, it's it's, very it's, positive? Yeah, it's okay. very positive. Okay. So I would say this one isn't as much, I don't think. How, how, how do you say the word again? Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> You've got food in your mouth. <laughs> song fa. Song fa. Song fa. Yeah. Yeah. So 
Which one's your favorite? Okay, uh, firstly, they're all really good. So it's not like, for me, it's not a huge difference between them. You, I have hearkening back to like drinking 13 waters a few weeks ago and trying to figure stuff out. Anyway, I would say that um, they're all pretty close. That, that is, I like the, the texture and stuff yeah. the best, like if I were to compare. This has a nice flavor too, this lighter color one, but the least favorite is still good. Agreed, especially since when you put butter and salt on anything, <laughs> it's gonna taste good. That's true. It's gonna taste freaking delicious. I would say these two I like, these two have the lightness and the, the crunch. Yeah. Kind of like a, a Dorito. Yeah. And this one is still really good, but it's, I would say it's marginally not as good as the other two. Okay, so do you want to see what, yes. what's what? I already kind of know what that one is. That's How this you know? one. Yeah, it's, it just looks so different than yeah, the other. Yeah, visually, but yeah. these two, I have no, no no idea which one's which. So that's what we call the, I called it the gourmet, so yeah. that's what that is. All right. Go? I'm, I'm gonna guess it's the no name, the Me too. generic. But... I'm gonna bet on the no yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah no that's name. right, yeah. yeah. 100%. And then this one obviously is Orville. Okay, that's well, interesting. that's definitive, so there, is a difference, mm -hmm. but it's marginal. Um, I would eat all three. It wouldn't, to me, it's not a big deal. Now, mind you, the price difference, I don't know. Okay, this was more expensive. There's definitely a difference there. Between these two, oh. between the Orville and like the store brand, yeah. I'd say it, it's probably, if not one third more. But the difficulty right now is regardless of the type of popcorn, it's really hard to buy. Yeah. Everybody's at home yeah, watching. Really. Netflix or whatever streaming service. There is a shortage of popcorn, just like popcorn. toilet paper and, yeah. and yeast of all and things. Yeast, yes. So, okay, our last one, we have the one that we popped and this is the Flavor Call. And I love this box. This box looks like it's from the 1950s, <laughs> yes. 60s. It's even got the old popcorn, like the machine in um, a movie theater. And then it has on the other side, I love it says, for additional profits, consider snow cones. <laughs> Cotton candy can make plenty of profits for you too. So this is definitely for um, industry or commercial for a movie theater. So what this is, is actually it's a milled salt and it has uh, salt artificial flavor. So it's probably some trade secret. Uh, FDNC yellow number five, Lake E102, FDNC yellow number six, Lake E110. Where did you end up getting it? Amazon. Amazon. Good old Amazon, yeah. but it's manufactured in Cincinnati, Ohio made in the US of A. And so to make this a bit of that in the silicon container that we took in it with some tiny bit. oil. Yeah, you can't use this like a shaker where yeah. you know those shaker popcorn things yeah. where you shake it on. This stuff is potent. It's just mm. milled salt and it is super yeah. intense. It's like very, very... Half a teaspoon? Yeah, for like a... A big, like it was twice the size of this. Okay, yeah. we're gonna have a lot of popcorn after this. <laughs> just, <laughs> but that's all good. Um, anyway, it was that and then some oil, two tablespoons yeah, of oil. Yeah, it was oil. And to make it kind of like movie theater popcorn, I think I've read that you can use like coconut oil uh, okay. or they obviously don't use a good oil in the, yeah. because they want to maximize profits. So it's some type of hydrogenated. They use a good oil. It's probably good, but it's probably the cheapest one they can buy. <laughs> <That's> it's <laughs> probably palm oil, if not anything. All right, let's okay. try her. Mmm. Salty, oily. It's drier than the other ones. I mean, the thing about the other ones is we haven't, we put butter on the top, so we didn't get back. Anyway, I like the other ones better. I'm not really into that one as much. You like it. I like it by only adding a tiny bit amount when yeah. I pop, mm -hmm. so it goes throughout every kernel. Yeah. And then I like adding other stuff, like yeah. the butter or some of the shaker, popcorn yeah. shaping seasoning. Yeah. So we're making something that was yeah. healthy-ish to not healthy at all. Welcome to life now. <laughs> It'll change. It'll hopefully. change. <laughs> Quarantine after, like, I don't know. Are we having popcorn for supper? I think we might be. <laughs> but this leads me to, mm -hmm. we can make a video about the popcorn seasonings and we can try them all out. So maybe let's do that. Okay. We'll have to see if we can find it. Um, I think we, we can go to our cupboard. We have quite a few there. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think we'll call this video a done. So the next video, actually, that's a great idea. We'll get some popcorn seasoning. Yeah. Um, those shakers yeah. and we'll try those out. Yeah, that sounds good. What are we gonna do? Go eat some popcorn? Uh, I think we're gonna have lots of popcorn to eat um, and we're gonna go watch the Netflix movie. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, to the right. television. <laughs> Let's go. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Peace out. <laughs>